Today I show you the website Screenfly from Kirk Tools, which helps us to test our own websites if they are displayed correctly on every screen size and if the responsive layout works on every device. First of all, I want to give a quick attribution to my designer, which made me this awesome channel banner and my profile picture a few weeks ago. Here is his freelancer profile and of course I will link it in the description below. So now to the problem. I design websites myself too and I know this problem because you go live with the website, you have to test everything and every step, every part of the website and very important too, you have to test the website on every screen size. Because especially in responsive layouts, it happens then that on some screen sizes the layout doesn't work correctly, so you have huge gaps in between or it doesn't work like you want it. Of course, you could test this with a few devices yourself. Maybe you have a desktop PC, a laptop, a tablet and a smartphone and you can ask friends, but this takes a lot of time and there's a way we can speed this up very easily. And therefore, we go to worktools.com, link in the description and click on Screenfly. Then we have to enter the URL of the website we want to test here. I use the website of a friend of mine, künstlerseele.net. Click enter and then it loads the preview. Though for the general information here you always see the display, so the preview of the site on the chosen device. Up here and at the left you have kind of linear to see how many pixels you have. Up here we have the devices. So here we have the desktop PCs from a small notebook to a 24 inch desktop PC. Here we have the tablet sizes, for example an iPad. And you see it changes the screen size and the layout changes too because it's responsive. Here we have the smartphones, for example an Apple iPhone 6 and also televisions like this. Really important is the custom screen size too, because here you can enter any value you want, for example like this, because normally the problems occur on a specific range of width or height and then you can test out here manually in, width, in which range the problems occur. Now to the other buttons. Here we can of course refresh the site because you have to do this many times because you adhere the changes on the website and then you have to test again, look how it works and again and again and again over and over and over, you know what I'm talking about. Here we can rotate the screen. To show this better, I choose the iPhone again. So this layout, rotate the screen, then I have this layout, you know what I mean. This button is very important too namely allow scrolling. So I can uncheck this and then you see I can't scroll the site anymore. So I click it again and then you can test the whole site by scrolling and I mean this is very useful because you have to test the whole site and not only the upper part when you cannot scroll. And uh, by the way you can also follow all the links on this website, this works too. Yeah, these two options are not so useful, I mean use a proxy server and share it, but you can test out the website on every screen size you want, like this. So for me, I tested all the websites I designed so far with Screenfly and it saved me so much time because it takes a lot of time to test out all the devices manually and then for example on my old smartphone the cache duration is really long and so I can't see the new changes because it uses the old website again. And here you just can click refresh and it works. So that's it. I would appreciate your likes and comments and check out my channel and subscribe to me. To miss no future videos, I put three videos in the end card in which you might also be interested. See you next time.